So you've seen that uh, million dollar house video. If not, then be sure to click above. But this is not it. This is a typical Vietnamese house in the countryside. A single story house full of annoying children in the back who won't stop talking. So this is actually my grandfather's house. And uh, I actually brought him a magazine just to show him. But this is his bed. This is what he sleeps on. And he actually owns an air conditioning unit, but he doesn't really use it because he doesn't like it. And uh, it's kind of hard when there's windows that are constantly open. But this is his house. And uh, I drove about 60 kilometers from Saigon all the way to uh, Jiang to, uh to visit him. And there he is in the background wearing his pajamas. And look at his uh, flat screen. He has a flat screen when, when I don't. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny. And uh, it's actually, I brought, I brought knee pads here. I actually wore knee pads all the way here. And notice how he covers his phone up with a cloth. That's actually very interesting. And uh, lo and behold, look, there I am right there and some family portraits. Uh, funny thing is I'm not in it. And there he is. And uh, he worked in Paris for a while. In 1954, there he is. It's kind of interesting how old people wear their pants all the way up high like that. It's one thing that I've, I've noticed. Uh, this is a living room. It just leads directly in. And uh, this is the altar. Now, most Vietnamese households in the countryside, even if they're Christian or Catholic or Buddhist, they will have an altar. And usually the altar will have uh, their ancestors. So these are my great-grandparents, uh, my grandfather's parents. So uh, the Vietnamese, for the most part, do believe in ancestral worship. So you just pray to your ancestors, you know. Uh, there's an ancestor here, a baby jackfruit right there. And here's some other things like, you know, just pray to the uh, heavens and the earth and stuff like that. But no, no Buddha, because my grandfather is a, is a Scientologist. No, I'm just kidding. He's a, he just believes in ancestral worship. He doesn't do any of that, uh, that uh, temple stuff. He's very scientific, per se. But yeah, these are my great-grandparents. I don't know why they're all pale and stuff like that. Uh, and that guy kind of looks Chinese, but... Yep, these are the people that I came from. Without them, there would be no me, no kaolay.net. So thank you. Thank you, great-grandparents. And of course, I've never met them. A lot of Vietnamese households will have paintings like that, made out of... Uh, which looks like fake gold. And notice how they uh, have their paintings, right? It's, to a slant like that. And even in America, my parents used to hang their paintings like that and it would just annoy the hell out of me. You know, I, I don't like that, I don't like that slanted, slanted uh, look. And here's, here's my grandfather's uh, security system right here. All right, that's a security system right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very, very safe. Of course, you have plastic stools for guests, when guests comes over. Here's another room. Um, I'm not going to spend the night, but if I, if, I, if I was going to spend the night, I would sleep on here. And this is kind of like a wooden bed. It's very hard, it's made of wood. And uh, this is a jew or a mat. Very, very common in Vietnam, especially the countryside. You, you'll see these a lot. People just, you know, lay down and, you know, kind of like a, an in-between between them and the ground. And you'll see a lot of these wooden beds in the, the Vietnamese countryside as well. And, of course, closets that protrude from the wall. So there aren't that many... Um, houses uh, in the countryside that actually has like a walk-in closet or a built-in closet in the walls. It's very simple. They just have a closet sticking out like that. And here's more security. It's more uh, that intricate security system from the future. And here's uh, my grandfather's uh, refrigerator. Let's see. Let's see what he has in the, the refrigerator besides cats. Let's see. Oh, ice. Lots of ice and old people medicine. Ugh. Lots of ice. More more drinks. Ensure. Laughing Cow brand, yeah, shout out. But that's pretty much it. I guess he doesn't eat. It's very similar to me. But notice how small the, uh, the refrigerator is, yeah? Very, very small because most Vietnamese people in the countryside tend to not refrigerate their food. They will uh, buy uh, food as needed each day. And here's some more relatives from my dad's side. Here's some more relatives. Shout out to Jenna if you're watching this. And Nyuk if you're watching this. Hello, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Shout out, shout out. Shout out. Here's the kitchen. Here's the kitchen. There's another bathroom. Let's check out the bathroom real quick. Here I am. In the mirror. Mm -hmm. Boy in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Western style toilet. But I still don't like to use it because, look, the toilet comes into the kitchen right here. So if you want to do your business after, uh, after dinner, it'll be quite easy. And another thing is propane cooking. 
Most Vietnamese households don't have a gas line, so they just use these propane gas tanks, and I'm deadly afraid of them. Uh, at my house, I shut it off. I don't like it. I wish they would just take it away, but there's another thing like that here. Yeah, and if uh, if you're done using it, you just call the number, and they'll bring one over ASAP. Oh, I'm not with you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. Well, that's that's all I'm gonna say to him because I don't even know what to uh, what to say. Cultural differences. So this is the uh, the front yard here. Front yard. Yeah, they wait. Go. I I move back. Có cái núi cái núi là núi gì à? Núi Nhang. Ah, okay. Núi đó ai ở trên đó? có ở trên đỉnh có nhưng mà trên đỉnh có 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 gấu không có còn gì vậy hai hai tặc không có không ngươi random kids running around mười cái số có núi ok so there's a mountain view and they're the neighbor's yard over here and they grow well pretty much nothing. But I remember when the first time I came here, this whole area was clear. So in the past few years, it, it just grew. The forest is slowly taking us over. And there's a dog trying to eat so Yeah, just random neighborhood kids. Yeah, this is the countryside, all right. This is the countryside. Oh, sweet. I, I, uh, are you again? Okay. Okay. So my grandfather wants to sell his house. So he wants to sell his house. I don't know. I don't know why. That's probably a jib at me because uh, I thought he was going to give me this house and I'd be a homeowner, you know? I'd be a boss. I would throw all the, the raves and all the parties, all the after parties here, you know, take it to the Dong Nai style, you know? You know? No, I don't. No, I don't. Now he's giving me, he's giving me the measurements. Oh, by the way, the kitchen and the sink is outside. Typical. Typical. Yeah, lots of fruit. There's a rooster over there. You definitely need a rooster. Some baby dogs. Dogs eating trash over there. I don't know if you noticed. And you have uh, more like an altar out there as well. So, the countryside. This is the countryside. <laughs> He's uh, saying the Highway 1 is uh, <laughs> really close to his house. It is true, it's just off of Highway 1. If you're going to Muinia, you're gonna cross this house from Saigon, you're gonna pass it. Yep, so that's it. Oh, no, 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 Okay, kylelay.net, facebook.com, slash kylelay.net, facebook.com, slash kylelay.net. Subscribe, guys.